decided for the first time in the history to divide the World Championship over a few cities, four cities. So now here we are in The Hague, uh, but also in Amsterdam, Rotterdam and in Apeldoorn. Uh, there will be big stadiums where uh, all the players are playing all the matches on center court. And that's new. I think it shows respect for the players. They really like because the, the, the people are coming right for them. And in terms of the uh, preparations, we, we're still a day away from the start. Yeah. Tell us what sort of last minute activities fans can look forward to in the build up to, to the big uh, start tomorrow. Well, uh, tomorrow is uh, the opening ceremony and the first uh, match. Uh, only in The Hague there will be two matches and then on Saturday morning the rest of the tournament starts. Uh, there is a lot, of, lot to do also in the, in the city. For example, we are here near uh, Plein Square where uh, it looks like um, uh, Copacabana. There are some beaches where you can play. Uh, there are a lot of activities for schools and children where you can participate in. Uh, you can watch the games during the tournament in this square on the big screen. So uh, a lot of attention. And and we really feel that every uh, city is, is eager to start. Uh, if you visit the cities, it's turning orange everywhere, like you see in the back. Uh, it's, it's orange everywhere, so we're quite ready for it. And, and in terms of the organization here, it's, it's great to see that the center court is actually being built on the canal. Yeah. Have you had any interesting problems in, in, in setting it up, or, or what was the concept uh, to, to prepare for here? Well, we were uh, looking in uh, the London 2012 Olympics and saw there was a very nice uh, venue uh, at Buckingham, Buckingham Palace um, and um, we thought to do the same in, in the Netherlands and uh, we came up with this idea. Uh, Holland is uh, famous for uh, managing the water. Uh, we have to fight all our lives against the water and we did it again over here. Of course it's not the sea but um, the, the stadium is floating uh, so it's not on the ground, it's floating and we're uh, very happy to see that everything went well. Uh, so we didn't have any problems uh, uh, doing it and as you see it's uh, it's it's floating uh, quite uh, well uh, over there and I'm really uh, um, eager to see what happens if all the public is coming over. Uh, we have 5,500 uh, seats over there so it's, uh, it's going to be a pretty amazing picture when the stadium is full.